Hi, I'm Ashley Labisher, the Executive Director of the Davenport Institute at the Pepperdine School of Public Policy. And our PIT UN grant project is the development and delivery of a new professional certificate offering in leading smart communities. In many ways, the idea for this project came from experiences that the Davenport Institute had had working with another emerging local government best practice, inclusive, authentic public engagement as a way to shape local policy. In our work on public engagement, we had experimented with creative processes and incorporated many of the principles into our graduate school curriculum. But we realized that in order for public engagement to take root, it needed more than shiny processes and enthusiastic graduates. There was more required to shift the existing culture of local government to a place where it was ready to ad adopt these new practices. And one way we addressed this was by offering mid-career local government officials a deep dive into the tools and processes that they needed to become champions of that culture change in their organizations. The Smart Communities Certificate is designed to do the same thing for public interest technology by offering current early to mid-career local government practitioners, both elected and staff, training in the latest ways that technology can make their government institutions more transparent, more inclusive, and more responsive to their residents. We'd initially designed this as a three-day in-person seminar to be held on our Malibu or West LA campuses. The PITU grant supported the development of the program and provided funding for three beta tests, which would allow us to offer genu generous scholarships as we grew the program recognition and awareness. The goal was that by the end of these three beta tests, we would have established a self-sustaining, self-funded professional certificate with enough of a reputation to bring in new participants, and that this would allow us to support the adoption of public interest technology by creating a network of PIT champions in cities across California. We were just gearing up recruitment for our initial offering when COVID hit. Of course, our in-person offering was canceled, but we quickly shifted to offering a robust, interactive, online certificate program that would provide opportunities for both expert input and peer learning amidst an intimate cohort of participants. The Davenport Institute and the School of Public Policy took our time as we designed this virtual offering. We re-engaged some of the alumni from our public engagement certificate to discuss what type of a virtual offering would fit with the busy schedules of local government practitioners and to ensure that the program offerings aligned with the practical necessities of their work. While this deliberative approach did put us behind times in terms of expected timeline, we have created an offering that is showing great success even in its initial pilot stage. So we've been hoping to be wrapping up our third beta test by now. And instead, we're launching our pilot. But the virtual program that we've designed consists of five modules, which is held over the course of five weeks from 3 to 5 p.m. on Tuesdays. We officially welcomed our first cohort to our first offering on Tuesday, October 27th. Together, they've been exploring topics including exploring and understanding the global smart community movement, cybersecurity and risk, digital communication strategy, basic analytics and artificial intelligence for managers, and building smarter and more sustainable communities in the 21st century. Instructors include faculty from across various schools at Pepperdine, which actually helps us establish public interest in technology as a field within our own university as well as public interest technologists like Alex Kautz and Jonathan Reichenthal. By the time we launched our initial pilot offering, we already had a waiting list for our second beta test. Even at this pilot level offering, and even with clear advertising that the PIT UN grant made scholarships available, we found that a number of participants, um, their sending employers were able and willing to pay the tuition we'd advertised at 750 per participant. While the PIT UN funds have been vital to supplement the development of course content, as well as training, uh, the training faculty and providing logistical support for this program launch, we are confident that this price point will be sustainable as we move forward, as the curriculum becomes more established, while also continuing to be an acceptable ask for participants who are seeking training funds from their employer. As we move through this pilot, we will be conducting 
conducting detailed attendee surveys and using that input to continue to address both curriculum and delivery as we move into our second and third beta test. We are confident that we will be fully self-sustaining and have an established reputation by the end of that third beta test. Moving to the virtual format has also allowed us to expand our reach in unexpected ways. While our earlier in-person certificate tended to draw participants primarily from California, this cohort included participants from across the country and as far away as Australia. We are looking at keeping the cohorts engaged as a type of alumni network or even a fellows program composed of practitioners with a solid understanding of public interest technology across the country and around the world. Thank you for your time. Thanks for listening. I look forward to discussing this more during the conference panel. Hello, I'm Jung Woo Chun, co-instructor of the MIT Cybersecurity Clinic, along with Professor Larry Suskind in the Department of Urban Studies and Planning. In this video, I'd like to introduce our project's key objectives, some of the measurable outcomes, and how we are trying to advance the field of public interest technology. Our goal is to prepare MIT student teams, help city agencies in New England, assess the vulnerabilities to cyber attacks. Most cities do not have risk avoidance and emergency action plans in place. They need help preparing credible risk assessments they can use to convince budget officials, give them the funds they need to protect their city's critical infrastructure. Our certified students are able to provide that. With support from PUN, we created online self-paced instructional modules that prepare not just MIT students, but anyone anywhere who wants to learn the tools and techniques of cyber vulnerability assessment. The modules are available for free for all learners around the world provided by edX. We also want to support other PUN universities interested in creating regional clinics of their own. Our 2019 PUN grant was used to produce four three hour a week online teaching modules and a certification exam. These modules have been available for free online on edX since May 2020. In just about four months or so, more than 6,000 people have enrolled. The number of enrollments continue to grow at a consistent rate. In terms of geographic distribution, 147 countries are represented with the highest number from the United States, followed by India. More than 900 participants have paid $100 to take the certification exam at the end of the four weeks. The online modules were folded into new undergraduate and graduate classes at MIT, the MIT Cybersecurity Clinic, and were pilot tested last spring. Lots of improvements were made based on student feedback, and this fall, the revised online modules have been folded into a new hybrid course, which has now been added officially to the MIT course catalog for both undergraduate and graduate students. The students complete the four-week mo four modules online on edX, as you've seen. During those weeks, they meet for an hour on Zoom with Professor Suskind and I. After that, once they're assigned to a client agency, they meet with us once a week for two hours to discuss their ongoing work with their client agencies. The course is now part of a new undergraduate urban science joint degree program between the Department of Urban Studies and Planning and the Department of Computer Science and Electrical Engineering. The MIT Cybersecurity Clinic has established partnerships with state and local agencies, including Mass Cyber and the Massachusetts Municipal Association. These organizations are actively helping to advertise the clinic's availability to cities and towns in New England, encouraging them to become clients of the clinic. Current clients in this fall include Worcester, Mass, the second largest city in New England, and Framingham, one of the largest towns in Massachusetts. We measure our success in terms of number of learners completing the online modules, as you've seen, the number of learners completing the certification exam, the inclusion of the modules in permanent new courses at MIT, the interest of cities and towns working with the clinic the satisfaction of client agencies 
with their vulnerability assessments, we help them to produce and the interest of other universities in creating regional cyber clinics of their own. We have a series of detailed before and after surveys ready to distribute people taking the online modules, students participating in the clinic, and public agency clients of the clinic. If the 2020 Pitt UN supplementary grant that we requested is awarded, we will both evaluate and scale up what we put in place last year. For example, we will produce additional short video case studies incorporating officials and residents from cities that have been attacked by cyber criminals. We helped produce Baltimore case study last year. Based on the before and after interviews we have planned, we should be able to pinpoint the extent to which our assumptions about clinical education are accurate. We'll also be able to incorporate the interview results into the revision of the online modules. We're trying to advance the field of public interest technology by building a specialized workforce ready and able to help protect critical urban infrastructure from cyber attacks. Our website, as shown here, seeks to build a community of practice, including providers and consumers of cybersecurity tools and clinics, tools and techniques. If we are successful, we hope that many other universities will organize regionally oriented cybersecurity clinics of their own. Thank you.